Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video I will show you how to migrate data from a CSV file to Azure SQL database and then how to migrate data from on-premises SQL server to Azure SQL database. So uh, in this particular video there is a test data.csv file which has some records in it around 1000 records. It has columns like ID, names and gender and it has around 1000 records in it so i will move data from this particular file to a azure database and then i will move data from an on premises sql server database which has a names column which has a names table so we will move data from this particular table into the into the azure database so i am azure server learn ssis and then i have a database my test db which currently doesn't have any tables in it so we will create two tables and then we will move data into this particular database so remember while moving data to an azure database when we created the learn ssis sql server so at that particular time we created a sql login named sql admin and then there was some password for that particular login so we need that uh, id and password while moving data into the azure all right okay so let's get started first of all as we are going to load data from a csv file into azure database so just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and rename the data flow task as load data from csv file and then double click the data flow task to configure it make a connection to the csv file so to do that just drag and drop the flat file source double click flat file source create new connection and browse the csv file that you want to load test data.csv click open and the column names in the first data row is checked out so let's leave it as as it is and then click on the preview so you can see data here so data seems good to me we click ok and then again click ok so we have configured the flat file source now it's time to configure the oledb destination that will actually write data to the azure sql database now connect flat file source with the oledb destination and double click oledb destination to configure it click new to create a new connection to the azure server click new under the server name we need to provide the full name of the azure server navigate to the azure portal so this is our dashboard and this is the learn ssi sql server that we created in last video and uh, go to the properties to see its full name so this is its full name server name learn ssi database.windows.net copy this particular name and then paste it inside the server name and then from the authentication change it to sql server authentication and under the username write the username that we created while creating the sql server for azure our username is sql admin and now i'm typing the password our database name is my test db click test connection to make sure that connection is successful so our connection is fine click ok ok from the data access mode change the table or view to table or view fast load because it enables the bulk insert wherever possible then click new to create a new table at this azure database name the destination table as person so it has taken the data type from source click ok go to the mappings so you can see columns from source have been mapped with the destination click ok so we have configured our data flow task to load data from a csv file into the azure database go to the control flow now it's time to configure another data flow task that can load data from an on-premises SQL server to the Azure database. Just go to the SSIS toolbox, drag and drop a data flow task into the control flow window and then connect the previous data flow task with a new one. Rename data flow task as load 
data from on premises sql server double click data flow task to configure it as we are going to read data from a sql server table thus we will be using the oledb source double click oledb source to make a connection to the local sql server instance click new our local server name is ahmed and the database name is testing click ok ok and from the uh, table of view select the names you can preview to see that there are three records in the sql server table click ok so we have configured the oledb source now it's time to write data to the azure sql database so we have drag and drop the oledb destination now connect oledb source to the oledb destination double click oledb destination to configure it from the connection man manager choose the learn ssis the connection to the azure database and then click new to create a new table that can hold the data from the sql server table so we will name it as names the same name that the on premises sql server table has click mappings so you can see that the columns from source have been mapped with the columns with the destination so click ok we have configured our both the data flow task the one that loads data from a csv file to the azure sql database and another one which load data from an on premises sql server to the azure sql database to execute the package simply click on the start button or you can press f5 as well from your keyboard first data flow task is running okay so it has loaded 1000 records from csv file to the azure database and in the second data flow task it has read three records from the on premises sql server and import you know imported three records into the azure database to verify that the data has been actually imported to the azure database you can simply go to the azure server and under the my test database refresh the tables and you should get the two tables there the names and person that we just created and to actually see that these tables have data simply execute a query on against these tables so i'm just going to read all data from the person table so it should have 1000 records okay so it has data in it now let's uh, replace the uh, person with the names table to make sure that we have data in second table as well three records okay so we have data in names table as well so guys uh, we have seen like how to migrate data from a csv file or from a on-premises sql server to the azure database so thanks guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more videos on ssis and related technologies thank you